This episode of Cooking with Jason was brought to you by the letter C. The tin can was invented in 1810 by Peter Durand. In 1813, the first commercial canning factory opened. In the old days, people used to open cans with a hammer. When manufacturers started using lighter material, it paved the way for this amazing kitchen gadget. The first can opener was invented by Ezra Warner of Waterbury, Connecticut in 1858. To start off this recipe, you'll have to make a coffee syrup. One cup of coffee plus three quarters a cup of sugar. You will have to place this mixture on your stove and reduce over medium heat until it's lost half of its volume. You will need two 15 by 10 inch jelly roll pans to make your almond sponge cake. Buttered and covered with parchment paper. You will need eight eggs, six tablespoons of white flour, two cups of almond flour, one cup of confectioner's sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of white sugar. Crack four whole eggs into a large bowl and mix until they've tripled in size. Add your almond flour and sift in your confectioner's sugar. Mix on low until incorporated and then sift in the flour. Continue mixing until fully incorporated. With clean beaters, you will have to mix your egg whites. Mix until foamy and then add your cream of tartar and salt. Mix in the white sugar also. Continue mixing until stiff peaks form. Fold in one third of the egg white mixture. Then add the rest and fold in until incorporated. Divide the mixture in half and spread out evenly into the jelly roll pans. Bake on 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. When this cake is done, it will be solid and it will spring back when you touch it. Cut the edges off while the cake is still warm. Turn the cake over and peel the parchment paper off of the back. Fold the cake over and cut in half. Now you have to make your coffee buttercream frosting. You will need two sticks of butter, chopped and softened. Four egg yolks. Six tablespoons of confectioner's sugar. And some of the coffee syrup we made earlier in the video. Add the egg yolks to a large bowl and then mix in two tablespoons of hot coffee syrup. Add your butter and mix. Then add the confectioner's sugar and mix until smooth. Finally, we will make chocolate ganache. 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and one and one half sticks of butter chopped. Add to a large metal bowl and place over a pot of lightly simmering water. Now here's how we assemble it. Take one of the layers and paint it with the warm chocolate ganache. And flip it over. Paint with coffee syrup and buttercream frosting. Add the second layer, paint with coffee syrup and buttercream frosting. You will have to put it into the freezer for about a half an hour to harden up the frosting. You will have to chill your chocolate ganache also. Chill it to the point where it's spreadable but not runny. Spread the ganache, add another layer, paint with coffee syrup and buttercream. Add the last layer, paint with coffee syrup, and spread the rest of your ganache. Then back into the freezer for another half an hour. After the cake has hardened up, take it out of the freezer and cut the cake to make straight edges. This dessert tastes best when it's refrigerated for another four hours. Enjoy! <laughs>